Keeping alcohol has many forms by which he catches men. He is a beast of many horns and ever thus has been. For there's rum and gin and beer and wine and, and brandy, brandy of logwood hue. And hawk and port and flip combined to make a man look blue. He says be merry for his good sherry and Tom and Jerry. Champagne in Paris and, and spirits of every hue. Oh, are not these a fiendish crew as ever a mortal knew? Oh, are not these a fiendish crew? Yeah. Hey, welcome to Blind Pigs. It's Blind Pigs, uh, what, North, South Bend, Mishawaka, Southern Michigan, whatever. I don't know. This is Brent. This is, we're up north. We're back. We're up north. Dougie Fresh, Polly G, and uh, Mr. Warren. Hey, Glad member. to have you with us, finally. How's it going? Uh, Jeremy Nice is joining us today as well. Hello. Rick Greenless from back home in Sheboygan. Howdy, howdy. Sheboygan. As long as, um, my brother, Ryan Douglas. Hello. Ryan, Shebo- hey. Sheboygan. Hey, Sheboygan. Pull that mic a little closer, though, for me. It'll, you'll be way too far away. Yes. Sheboygan, Wisconsin? No. No. Michigan. No. Michigan. Cheboygan. Not pit Cheboygan. The north. Yes. But uh, <laughs> this is a. Uh, we did the blind beer debacle at 40 Rays a while back, but it was shit beer. It was fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was a blast. We literally just went and brought, like, uh, what, what did we have? There was a lot Nicky's, of. Uh, 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 Foster's. There was Foster's Molson. and Molson and the all Stuff kinds that we of grew up on, but it was funny going back. You know, I haven't drank because I'm drinking crap beer all the time. You drink that stuff now. It's just how bad. <laughs> <laughs> so we, like, we blind taste tested it all, though. We, did, oh, we didn't really? see yeah. what it was, so we just we had them pour it out yeah. and then bring it to us. And then we rated it, and then we went back. And, and Mickey's and was the winner? Huh? Mickey's was the winner. I think was Mickey's it really? was the winner, yeah. Nice. By it wasn't even close. Mickey's everybody had Mickey's up over the top. Now what? What made it like the winner? Was it like how uh, did you grade it? We we did uh, we did a couple categories. We did we did. Uh, well, we gave it a one through ten on yeah, ta- we, on on flavor. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, and uh, shoot, what was the other one? I, I can't remember, remember all the uh, categories. We had uh, just a couple categories, and we just did the math afterwards and added it all up, and Mickey's came up. <laughs> it know. was one of the only ones out of all the ones that had. It tastes like beer still. Yeah. <laughs> some other stuff was just, it all tastes like. Foster's, and then we had some honey, amber or oh, something. Oh, that honey, honey brought that honey brown. Honey brown. Somebody yeah. It was oh. awful. Yeah. Honey brown. <laughs> but uh, today we're doing a little debacle, but it's uh, good beer. Honey brown. But we know, honey but we know what we're drinking. What's that? Honey brown or honey badger? No, it was the honey, honey brown. brown. Honey badgers, that's, uh, that's a local yeah. beer here. Pull that a little closer. Oh, that's uh, Barry. Barry hands, hands, right? hands. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Pull your bike a little closer there, Ryan. Yeah, they, they pick up a lot of the echo if you're not right on top of them. So it might be a little echoey on this broadcast. Sir? And we're passing around. Thanks, sir. Yes, we so, are um, starting with some tax, man. We'll get, into, we'll get into some more chat. But uh, I had this at the um, uh, Backyard Shenanigans at Jordan's. I don't know if that show will come out before or after this one. Uh, but I thought I'd bring up a couple bottles of this. This is the Taxman, chocolate co- or Taxman Mexican chocolate cake. Yes. Oh, it's good. Very good. It's got a pepper to it. It just sits in the back. Uh, it doesn't. It's not overpowering. It's just nice little warm feeling, real chocolatey, real real flavorful. What's the pepper? Um, I don't remember. It smells nice. <laughs> 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 How do we get next? Oh, <laughs> we didn't get next. That one more belongs more. to me. <laughs> it literally just says Mexican peppers. Uh, hey guys, do you mind if I get my untapped uh, photo out of the way really quick while you oh, talk yeah. about oh, this? God. Is everybody still doing that? Take I, away. I, I, I haven't in a while. Thing. I've had to stop. Untapped? Yeah. yeah. It just it, like it was. You feel like you're obligated. Like every time you drink your fucking beer, you got to <laughs> check it in. <laughs> the only reason I liked it was to find out where it was at again or stuff. That I ha- man, I, I, ha- I had this month ago and I can't remember if I liked it or not or whatever. It's kind of to go back and look, but yeah. you can search for beers on it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was cool yeah. to look for. I use it know. the same way that I like, I, because it's a douche move, but I check into the gym constantly on Facebook, <laughs> but I use untapped like a little dick swinging thing with the people that I'm friends with that are also in the sure. beer. Like, look at what I have the good fortune to be getting wasted out of my garage on, right. a, on a Wednesday. And uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's a habit. I have a colleague, he actually, we were at a, a sampling, and this person had their phone up, and he asked them, he's like, are you getting ready to, to tick that on, uh, on tap? And they're like, yeah. And he's like, no. It's like, you go elsewhere. It's like, you, if you're going to drink this beer, you put it up here. You don't put it on your fucking phone. And he wouldn't serve him. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I love that guy. <laughs> we were in Puerto Rico and we found like the only craft beer on the island about three weeks ago. And I was on Untapped, checking in beers, and they had one of the Untapped menus so it would scroll like recent check-ins. And it was somebody else in that in that bar who I think it was the I want to be the owner 
who was also checking in. So we started chit chatting back and forth. Nice. Then we're friends now, and he's we're talking about beers to send each other. So oh, cool. You know, it's a tool for friendship, you guys. I mean, <laughs> it's not just for assholes. I mean, you know, you use it for other stuff. <laughs> Beer douches. Pretty much. <laughs> no, no, no. This I like when you see someone's got like, you know, they just get on, they get like four, they're checking in beers every five minutes. Oh, yeah. Like, all right, like, all right, you're not drinking that fast. On, Shut man. up. Or the worst part is when you're at a bar and you know it's an asshole thing to do, but you're going to do it anyhow, and you forget to turn the flash off. It's like, boom! <laughs> and everyone, everyone in the entire bar looks at you and they know exactly what you're doing. You're like, I, I am embarrassed now. I, that happens to you twice and you, you get it locked down to turn that flash off. All right, guys. What do you think? I think this is wonderful. I like it. It's it delicious. A, it's got that that it's chocolatey, but then you get that heat in the back end. Man, that's really nice. And, and that pepper will stay there for yeah, a while. I like it. Is that, is that, that keep what going. That is, is pepper? Yeah. yeah, it's a Mexican pepper, okay. so it just yeah, sits on the back of your late. throat. I'm a complete novice with beer. I do not drink beer very often at mm-hmm. all. So, yeah, I was kind of wondering what the hell that was. <laughs> so thank you for telling me. But it, and it there's like coconut. Good. Yeah, I yeah. taste the coconut. It's uh, maybe that's part of the cake part, but. Um, it just says uh, Mexican chocolate uh, cake deduction, uh, Belgian style double, bourbon barrel, uh, cocoa nibs, cinnamon sticks, and Mexican peppers. The peppers come in real late and then they just stay there. Yeah, you get the, yeah, you get the cinnamon in the nose, but you also get it like halfway through. Like right. And then, but the beauty part is, like I said, the heat and you can keep drinking, and it's not one of those pepper beers that's really awful up front. You know, it's, yeah. it's it. And we we brought it back to a briar scratch creeper where it, mm-hmm. the heat just kind of um, hangs there for a while and it just kind of grows and, but it's and nice. warms. That's awesome. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, limited release like it. Uh, like the, they only sell it like the crown uh, liquors or whatever in, in Indy. Now only see to me this, this would be more of a, a late it, season beer for me. Yes. Yeah. What fall you know or winter beer just because yeah. of that nice heat on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh I agree. That's I mean I've got I've got a bunch more bottles I'm saving put those. Them away. <laughs> <laughs> Braggart. Yes, yes. Well, I had to go to two liquor stores for him. <laughs> I was driving around. A lot of fuel. Uh huh. So, did anybody hear about the uh, shorts? We obviously now was selling in out of Michigan, which they at first said they were never going to do, but uh, we're glad they do, obviously. But uh, now Languanitas has stake, like yeah. 19%. Or Heineken. Or Heineken. 19.999%. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. is it Heineken or is it Languanitas? Well, it's Heineken owns all 100% all of Languanitas now. Oh, they do own 100%? Yeah. Of, okay. Yeah. Oh, Lord, oh. oh man. Yeah. I didn't know that, no. Yeah, wow. Tony sold. That's yeah. huge. Yeah, I mean, it is that's huge. Yeah, huge for him, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, but you think about the logistics of it, you know, it just allows, Not, I mean, because being overseas, you'd see Lagunitas like in England and mm-hmm. parts of Europe and... So it's just a list logistical move because you look at, I think Shorts is a perfect example. And it'd be great to talk to Joe Short and mm-hmm. like um, figure out what his numbers were versus production. And because, you know, he was Michigan always. Right. And oh, this, yeah. He was on the labels. Hey, Michigan yep. only, Michigan yep. only. Yep. Uh, forever. And th- this is, you know, just opinion. This is just a hypothesis. But he, uh, you know, then he moved into Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois. You know, within one year, yeah. I mean, this Does was it still what? say Michigan only on it. No, <laughs> no, not <laughs> Good. Yet. no. And now he's partnering up, so like it might be like you know he's just looking for other avenues for for distribution because I mean That's Michigan. Right. Is, I, I think I read that there is going to be they're putting something out in California. A pub really? Or, yeah, I don't know if they're going to brew out there or what's. Oh. But I did. I thought I read that they're going to put something in California. Yeah. Least. So, but yeah, that's you. I mean, the good thing what was it too, like two thousand four or five when shorts came in, and I mean, they've grown so freaking yeah. fast. I mean, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, it is. And what do you think about the guy? I mean, it's it's funny. Some of the brewers and, and uh, you know, we we go to breweries all the time, and their their philosophy is always so different on staying small or growing. But man, when you can start getting when you get dude, start fucking sell bigger, out, man, yeah, sell I mean, out. I would know. sell out. There's nobody at this table that wouldn't take a check for twenty yeah. million dollars. Yeah. Everything's for sale. What's yeah. disappointing? Well, the right what, price. What's disappointing to me is like the that visceral reaction on the internet and everything else when when uh, a company like look at Wicked Weed that yeah, took, Wicked that Weed, took yeah. the big check over the you know early spring. You know who fucking cares? Yeah. You know this is somebody's business who has poured every ounce of their being into this. You know whether it's one guy or a group of guys. You know why why should it be your call or anybody else's what they what they do with their business? It's the if anyway, it's twenty million dollars. Like, <laughs> yeah. come on, man. You <laughs> exactly. know, thirty, forty, whatever it yeah. is. But it's just it's you, you get tired of the bullshit on, the, on Facebook and everything else. Like, okay, so they've taken this money, so now their beer is no longer good. Goose well, no. Island. Hey, you know what? Goose Island's a great example. Mm-hmm. I love Bourbon County now just as much as I always did. Sure. I, I don't care who owns it. 
Right. Yeah. And then someone did a good article on that, though, uh, the whole Wicked Weed thing. But um, it wasn't that. And, and, every, and they explained it well. It's like you've made a craft. Uh, you, you, if someone wants to buy it, there's no, there's no shame in that. What, people, uh, what some people were getting on them about was um, they got kicked out of some of the, um, the, the festivals. Because yeah. they were no yeah. longer considered, and those festivals were meant to be craft. They weren't meant to be, you know, have the bigger, yeah. uh, you know. Well, they were hosting some big, what was like a sour fest yeah. or whatever. And yeah. the, and the second that happened, everybody pulled out. And yep. They had to cancel. Like, yep. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, that goes a little yeah. far. Well, what's the most frustrating thing about craft beer for a lot of us is the distribution. Like, mm-hmm. if Treehouse was available at Belmont down the street. I'd love it. I don't care. Right, if yeah. Anheuser-Busch makes that happen, so what? I don't care. Right. right. You know, <laughs> yeah. it, I don't want to have to have a buddy who's out there, you know, and then trade my soul to get a can of Juicy or whatever it is. So it's just, it, you get really tired about it. And, and when you're first into craft beer, you're like, yeah, damn the man, kill Whitey. But after a while, like, I just, I fucking want beer and I don't want to mm-hmm. jump through hoops to get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, definitely. Yeah, distribution-wise, I see, what I would always be afraid of is, were they gonna, are they going to lose some of uniqueness? Is a, is a brewer going to stop brewing? Is they're going to get bought out, and then they're going to you know change everything, keep a couple of their big recipes, and then kind of... I, I mean, I don't know. That's, what, that's one of the big I mean, things I don't like about it, is you, they usually stop experimenting after that. They're, you know, they're, they're, they've now locked into this some one, some and, then maybe once, and then maybe once every couple of years they'll get a new... You know, they'll roll something out new, but you're not... They're, they're, there's no more small batches that are going out. Well, I was uh, I actually ran into it was Chris and Eric from Bear Hands earlier this week. We had the exact conversation we were talking about because they're moving downtown into South Bend out of Granger. They're opening mm-hmm. up a second location. And you talk about what happens when the big money comes in is eventually down the line. Someone's going to open the books and say, you know, you're spending a lot of money on, on fresh hops. Why don't we scale back and, and use something different or use a different mm-hmm. type? And and but, you know, we're going to see in a couple of years that weird thing where. Anheuser Busch wants the craft beer money, but in order to maintain that money flow coming in, you got to keep the beer pretty good, right? Yeah. Because if it sucks, people will turn people will turn on it real right. quick and they won't buy it anymore. So you know, all these craft breweries make a shit ton of money, mm-hmm. and if if they start you know changing the recipe and and, and messing with what made them big in the first place, they're going to lose money, and that's not good either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're they're going to maintain it. I mean, look at like you said, Goose Island. I mean, mm-hmm. <clears throat> they've just. It's now more available. Yeah. Right. You know, how many, you used to only be able, be able to get Bourbon County. Uh-huh. Now they have all these different variants that, yeah, it might be one case going here or there, but there's more available than mm-hmm. it used to be. True. Have any, uh, anybody have any wows lately with, with craft beer they've tried? Yes. It's right here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> Sorry. I, I love that. that this beer. actually is my latest wow. Yeah. I agree. Um, I like it's, it a lot. it's spectacular. Again, winter beer better. Probably not more than one or two. Uh, you know, it's mm-hmm. it's a little, it's it's powerful. I don't yeah. know that I could finish a full. Uh, you know, finish more than one. Oh, bomber. I'm sure you could do a whole. Well, I can try. Oh, no, it. I can more than one bomber. Yes. Is it available up here? Uh, at Crown only at Crown Liquor. Okay. <laughs> uh, one of the ones I had earlier this week was. Yeah, I got uh, I got. I can trade you a couple. Yeah. Things for uh, for some of the was that depending on how that sour tastes. Some Mickey's <laughs> uh, mosaic from Bear Hands. I had earlier this week, and they just started canning it uh, about a month ago. It's a dry hopped pale, but mm-hmm. it's incredible. Right. Yeah, I love and that hop. Their stuff is really, really good. It. But I mean, this one wowed me. I thought, you know, I thought it was better than Honey Badger and a lot of the stuff they do. Like, I thought it was fantastic. Now, isn't Mosaic getting really hard to get? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. or always has been. Yep. I mean, yeah, like last year it was the hop. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder what uh, anything. What, what do you think is going to be coming up in the craft beer world? Uh, you know what? Where I work now, they won't even tell us what hops are in the beer, so I have no fucking clue. No idea. I wonder idea. what kind of hops they got down, because we're, get, we're getting ready to book a show for uh, with the hop farm down in Columbus. Yes. I wonder what kind of hops they grew. I don't know. Oh, I, I actually asked, I asked Cowboys, like, so is it kind of like one of those like blueberry and strawberry places where you can just go pick your own basket of shit and take it home? <laughs> what do you say? Just, no, he didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? We're going down to like eight, 812 Farms, I think is what it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I grew up in Hickory Corners, and uh, we were on the edge of town, and the field behind us for the longest time was soybeans, corn, soybeans, corn, and then you know we all moved away, and Hophead Farms, Sprung yep. up, sprung up, we, right on the edge of town in the old, uh, in an old tool and die building down downtown Hickory Corners. You know the four corners, but now they grow hops for like Goshen Brewing uses their stuff. The Crooked U uses their stuff, and it's all over the place. Mm-hmm. But I mean, money for hop guys right now is huge. So a lot of the people that would just say, "Fuck it, soybeans and corn," because mm-hmm. it's going to sell. They're also growing hops because yep. in this region right now, this is an incredible place to grow those. Yeah. 
and weed. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, think about think about the connection there. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good weed, good hops. Mm-hmm. See, there is a connection. There has to be. Yeah. This plus, plus he can hide it. Brought to you by marijuana. Plus, <laughs> plus he can hide. You can just you can just hide it within the uh, <laughs> in the binds. <laughs> What are you talking about? No, man, that's that's mosaic hops. There's what some, what there's is some, this? There's some kid podcasting this right now thinking, all right, I have to get a hop field and then bury my weed inside far enough where they won't look for it. There's nothing about it. educational about this show. <laughs> hey, th- hey, this beer is fantastic, man. Oh, good. Yeah, you guys really like it. I enjoy it. Excellent. There's more if we can, later, but we got plenty more to sift through. I know that. I see. Yeah, there's a lot of beer on the table. This and podcast this, uh, is gonna go. <laughs> oh yeah, we did. Well, floor. we did that. At, we did that <laughs> at our backyard shenanigans. We got through an hour, and and we probably we sampled. There were about seven of us, I think, and uh, each of us brought at least three or four different beers, and we oh, got yeah. through all of them. Oh, <laughs> um, like the last time I did a podcast with la- yeah. you guys, we were vegetable buddies, and it was. The, like, sec- the second hour went to uh, oh. unairable, I do believe. Yeah, it. Uh... Did, we, did we air the second one? Uh, no, there's well, there's three parts. The was third there one, three? there's no way oh, it's the coming out. One, yeah. My wife was like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm going to Vegetable Buddies to podcast with the pigs." And then nine hours later, so where are you? I'm like, "We're still doing the podcast." <laughs> then I leave and found out like a window was broken. Oh yeah, and, oh yeah. just crazy. Yeah, Brendan put the uh, equipment in the back of his uh, uh, friend's car and closed it. And one of the corners of the metal, one of the, you know, it's a road case. And it was Boosh. it was winter and cold, and he closed it. And he just psh. we lost no Warren. Shit. We were, <laughs> we did lose Warren. I, we were I didn't I don't even know what happened to you. Uh, I went to Fiddler's, and then uh, that was the night I was telling you guys about earlier off the uh, before we started recording, where I walked from downtown South Bend to Kelly's, and then I went to Jovi's, and <laughs> so you were like, walking around down in, in that in that weather. You were just walking around. It actually wasn't bad. Or, you know what? I had enough antifreeze running through my veins where I thought, this is tip top. (laughs) I lost a leg that night to frostbite. I don't regret nothing. (laughs) My foot's black all the time. Yeah, I get to that point if I've had a lot to drink where I I know that you need to leave here before you do say or spend something you shouldn't. And I was like, "Eh." disappeared. I think last time I was here, I did Off to the next place. Yep. Yeah, last time it was quick. You were here for like five minutes. You went to the restroom. He was gone. He ran out the back door. Oh, I was drunk before I came. (laughs) (laughs) You were, we were in a we we're at Vegetable Buddies and we we're actually, you know it's a, a live music venue and Polly was actually yelling for them to turn down the music so we could do bumpers. It's <laughs> <laughs> was, was, all recorded. I laughed my ass off doing, drunk. doing the editing and I hear Polly tell them to shut up the fucking music so I can do these bumpers. <laughs> it's like, dude, it's a music venue. I don't think they're gonna turn the music down. Damn it! Shut up. <laughs> Why they were only they were only like sound checking or something. Yeah. Don't stop sound checking. It sounds horrible already. They can stop. <laughs> I was I was wasted off those uh, what were those peppery drinks? Whenever we were oh Ryan, drinking. what was that thing you had us all try? That cocktail, Ryan. Oh, what the uh, Mexicali Blues. Mexicali yeah. Blues, yeah, yeah. I ended up having good. a lot of those. Uh, it was a little rough. It's such a cool venue, man. I don't well, Ryan knows he's there every night. Mm, yeah, but uh, it's, it's got to be one of the best out. places for music now in the area. I agree. I mean, Every so night for the price. Every yeah. night, including and drag night. I think it's Wednesday through Saturdays now. Live music. They do have drag night. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's there every night. Drinking <laughs> <laughs> fun, like drag racing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Still yeah, yeah. I, I started yeah. drinking at two. So. And look, yeah, he did. He, yeah, he, he, he is from shit. Sheboygan. He had <laughs> he had whiskey in front of him before I got here. I think. <laughs> Just got to keep it going. From that's last from night. Uh, that's from Parent of Grand Rapids, and it's really really good. Oh, probably, You've had the unfinished business. I had said, okay. Yeah, because we went up there and I I was on a beer tour and bought some, but I've never seen it for sale outside of actually the the warehouse. So where'd you get it? In Grand Rapids. Oh, all right. I went up there waking and yeah. Probably should have swapped out glasses for that instead of. It's gonna sp- taste a little cinnamony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why we bought those cups. Well, because they do uh, unfinished oh, yeah. business is great, and they do that no rules. The no rules that. is awesome. Oh, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, don't they? They have that Japanese. Uh, oh no, the Vietnamese sugar. Yeah, that's yeah. the what's the no rules. That that's is, yeah. Yeah. Vietnamese coffee style. Holy shit, that's yeah. amazing. Isn't uh, that good stuff? Yeah. Oh, God damn, that's good. Heck, we tried that at Vegetable Buddies, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think we did. Yeah. yeah. Why did that podcast end so badly? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the bartenders were bringing out bombers that they had brought from home to serve us there. Yeah, so it was it was getting really on top weird. Of, on top of mixed, yeah, the heavy cocktails. And yeah. yeah, it was a fun night. It was a fun night. I don't remember some of the last bits of it, but I remember I remember key moments like broken window. Where's where's you know. Where's everybody where's at? Warren? Uh, where's Warren? Warren? We definitely recorded too long because there was a point where Ryan and Warren were both asleep on the mics. You remember that? <laughs> yes. 
Excuse <laughs> 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 we're like, all right, we're done. <laughs> Fuck, we've been at it for nine hours. Nine hours, man. Brennan and I were still talking away, and you guys are asleep. If we had gotten in a car, we may have made it like south of Tennessee, Kentucky. We, we could have already been in Georgia by that time. We were still podcasting. <laughs> My, you know what I didn't do? I didn't know how long it was going to be, so I didn't pace myself. So I'm running like, this is going to be sweet. An hour, hour and a half. We're <laughs> knock this shit out. And, uh, and no, the bartenders yeah. were amazing down oh, there. Oh, yeah, they're great. What the hell is a Japanese emperor stout? I don't think that's in the proper... Uh, is, that a, is that a style? No. I was gonna say. <laughs> no. Where, where's the uh, judges? Well, at? it's I like <laughs> I, you know, Russian imperial, yeah, Japanese I know, emperor. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I figured play they were words. trying to play on something, considering yeah. there's a um, what's her name on the. They're trying to be different on the label. Yeah, yeah that's Kill not Bill. Uma Thurman though. It's, uh, no, they can't illegally do put Uma Thurman on there. But you know, it's a good it's a good attempt. Yeah. Yeah. Her name's Donna. Very anime. Donna. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Jeremy, did you, get, you did, uh, or I don't know if you do now, but weren't you doing some home brewing? No. You I, never have? I don't have the time. I, didn't you do it before? I thought no. you were doing fiddling around with home brewing. Mm-mm. Not at all. Warren? No. Fuck never? no. I know you no, don't have time. I tr- either, no, I, I, I could. I have time. But what I, that patient. I've been involved in a couple of uh, some home brews with some friends. I have zero tolerance for the amount of prep, sanitation, yeah. and clean, all yeah. that stuff. I I can't, dude. Like, it, bleh. <clears throat> no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let somebody else do the work. I'll I shall, I shall drink it, yes. Yeah. I shall pay you the, to drink it. Where I used to work, a brewer I worked for, the he sold like home brewing equipment. And when I got all my stuff uh, before going back to my apartment, like he gave me a home brewing kit. Mm-hmm. But it was just like one pot. Mm-hmm. So I didn't have all the shit. So like, oh, yeah. So I started looking into everything that I needed. I'm like, I'm never home. Like, I yeah. drive like eight hours, and I'm out of town for like two weeks, and then I come back, hey, do like, laundry. You need like, like six hours. Is that when you're yeah. in Norway? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I wanted to, but and and I'm very meticulous and like detail oriented. Like I would get a chalkboard and I'd, I'd write, you know, what the barometric pressure is the day that I right. brewed and every single they, aspect right. of the elements get, going they, into brewing. They get on my fucking case for doing stuff like that. Yeah, but I mean... I don't. Well, no, you don't. Because I know it's important. There is a science to it. I mean, yeah. yeah. I've, yeah. Got, dude, I've got friends at work that uh, that homebrew, and, and they've taken it so far where they're working on a maple uh, Russian Imperial Stout. Or, or, they get their own sap. Like, he makes his own sap, and he's now he's working on trying to grow his own hops. Like, that's another level of stuff. But, man... The amount of, you, you need to have a passion for it, which is why I respect some of these guys that go on and make these breweries that eventually oh, yeah. go on to get $20 million because the passion it takes to stay interested and, yep. and be willing to put up with the bullshit of the, like the minutia of making a good craft beer. Mm-hmm. Like, that's incredible. That mm-hmm. is incredible. Oh, yeah. If somebody comes out with like a Dark Lord or you get any of these beers, a well-done IPA, all this stuff, like the amount of work, effort it takes, you've got to learn all this stuff. You have to fail a thousand times. That's impressive to me. So I'd rather... Let it, leave it up to somebody who has the passion for it and enjoy the fruits of their labor. Like, you know, all of our friends that that uh, that have breweries and stuff like that. That's just, you know, I don't want to fuck with that. That's, <laughs> it's almost insulting. Like, hey man, come over. I brewed my own malt liquor. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like every hillbilly friend I have right now at Bishop Walk is like, yeah, I make my own uh, cinnamon moonshine. All of it tastes like shit, but you know, is that a thing? Oh yeah, cinnamon really? Uh, no, the what is it? This is the pumpkin pie the big one now? The pumpkin yeah. pie. Yeah, everybody yeah. makes their own pumpkin pie moonshine. Like, bleh. oh god, you know, hand me a too jar. sweet. Yeah, uh-uh. that I don't want to have like you know a cavity when I wake up. Also, like you know, <laughs> I killed four people in a hatchet rage because <laughs> I was blackout on Everclear with a cinnamon stick in it. And then you went to Kelly's yeah. and Jovi's. Yeah, and see, yeah. that's exactly what happens. Yeah. It started out with a podcast with the pigs. We had uh, Everclear. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna put a GPS tag on Warren <laughs> to find out where he is. No, my nightmare is that I wake up some morning. There's a family circus style cartoon with like the outline, like dit 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 dit. My wife get all pissed. I'm like, what are you mad about? I didn't drive. You know, it was a great time. There's actually a there's actually a number you can call to report Warren. Warren's here. Well, stop for the longest time. South Bend didn't have Uber. This is only like a recent like last year thing. We have it now. So now I'm you know. I'll let somebody else cart me around. Yeah, but you'll still go to all the other places instead of going right, home. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I think I took an Uber from Ryan's house to my house, and I don't think it's quite a mile, but uh, I think they're like, okay, it's $3.50. It's like well spent. Yes, and I'll tip you for the privilege. Thank yeah, you, you can tip now, can't you? 
Yeah, yeah. You can doesn't mean you have to. Well, I don't want to fight. That's what it's great about it. Like you just order. To. I thought you were supposed to. I just no, tip? no, 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 no. It's it's now it's an in-app thing where you can add a tip, and it's nationwide. They just rolled it out like three weeks ago nationwide. Yeah. So when you're done, and I just took an Uber earlier today, uh, you you can hit two, three, or four bucks. And I'm starting to like, what's so attractive about Uber is it's so much cheaper than a yes. cab, yeah. Yeah. especially yeah. in cities like this. And the cars smell good. Oh no. yeah, yeah, they're yeah. well kept. Yeah. Not all of them. So, Are you fucking not all of them? You're out of your the mind. last, the really? last, the only one I. The only one I've ever been in, the, the guy showed up. He was probably 80 years old, and he smelled like he'd been drinking all night. <laughs> oh, really? Mine, <laughs> mine smelled like, the one, last one I was in smelled like uh, uh, vegetable soup. Ooh. And his right side mirror was missing. Wow. <laughs> I always get pissed because all their cars are nicer than mine. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Today I was in a brand new Prius. I'm like, well, shit, this is not kick back, relax. <laughs> so I, I took a lift. It was, it was about a month or so ago. And the guy made me feel so uncomfortable. Like, it, I felt like he was looking down at my nether region. <laughs> yeah. Your junk? Ah. Yeah, my junkish. Yeah. Look, right, looking at his lips and thinking, all right. Yeah, and just the way he was talking, I was like, man, you're really fucking creeping me. And it was just from, like, Main Street in Mishawaka to uh, Ironwood. No. Yeah, Ironwood. And it was just down the street. It wasn't far, but well, he... That's- Fucking creep me the out. The sixty-year-old vegetable soup guy that was uh, talk was, was Uber and me and Jordan around. He he was telling us that he needs to head down to downtown because Broad Ripple wasn't so busy. So he heads downtown about two a.m. because that's when the drunk girls are are, are ready to go. <laughs> He's like sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Lyft uh, Lyft is partnering with Taco Bell right now, and I, th- I think it's a limited time thing for the know. summer. But they have a taco yeah. mode where you can hit it, hit taco mode, and the the Lyft will show up, pick you up. Take you to the nearest Taco Bell drive through and then drop you back off where you were. Ooh. Oh, you have to go back where you were? You can't just go home? I mean, I'm sure you can arrange it, but how many times have you been like, <laughs> tacos? Yeah. Oh, well, hell yeah. Uh, can you swing through the Taco Bell drive through really quick? I'll okay. give you 15 bucks or whatever. <laughs> no, you don't have to. You just hit taco mode. Nice. That's pretty fucking funny. I like it. Jeez. White Castle. Where's the White Castle mode? <laughs> you see, uh, what talk about Michigan-only beer, like shorts, which isn't Michigan-only anymore, but uh, there is a place in Wisconsin who is still Wisconsin-only. New Glarus? New Glarus. New Glarus. Yeah. I wonder if they're up, they're buying like 15 tanks, and they're going to up their like 400,000 barrels a day. Or a day, a, a year. I wonder if they're thinking of making a move. Expanding. I don't know. I just had uh, their uh, one of the last bottles that my boss had sent me on at the Backyard Shenanigans show, the Serendipity, which tasted like a sour, very fruity, um, almost kind of like, no, no, you hadn't tried that one. It was a brand new bottle okay. uh, that I had. It was a wax cap one, but... It uh, it was actually pretty good, but it tasted more along the lines of like the Lindemann's uh, Frembois kind of thing, mm. like mm. a lambic on that side. But it was all right, but real fruity, but real fruity. pretty nice. It is fun when you go to Wisconsin. It's like it, even the diviest of awful bars oh, has yeah. a ton of New Glarus on tap. You're like, hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. you know, not, it's not the best beer I've ever had, but it's fun it's to have something. It's fun to have something that's like fiercely regional. Like mm-hmm. this is Wisconsin. This is what you drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My brother in law uh, grew up in Wisconsin, and he's like, yeah, yeah, you don't drink Miller Lite or Coors. You drink New Glarus. Like. What are you? Or Linies. Yeah. yeah. Or Linies. Summer shanty. Oh, God. That is disgusting. I'm not well, growing up, that's all I knew was that, you know, that, that Linies was northern, was north to me. Yeah. It was Wisconsin beer when oh, I was yeah. growing up. So have, has anyone been to like Oregon or, you know, California where you, you have a discussion with people about beer and they're all hyped up, say, about a regional brewery here that we see is, yeah, you can get it. All the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three Floyds would be a great example of that. Yeah. If you're yeah. if you're yeah. one of those guys that l- likes to trade, right? They, you can get for from fresh zombie. You'd be surprised what you can get for something we can just get for oh, ten yeah. bucks at the yeah, brew yeah. pub. But you just think about that hyped up, like leading up to drinking the beer, yeah. and the people are like, uh, everyone was right. This is fucking amazing, you know. <laughs> and then they drink the beer, you know. And then when they come out, you know, they become, you know, I guess numb to it. Oh yeah, or you know their palate yeah. is kind of seared, and it's just like, oh yeah, I'm done with that it. one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you know, because it look at like Coors Light. You know, you mm-hmm. used to only be able to get that west of the Mississippi. Oh right? yeah, well, Coors. and and same with like Yingling, you know, Yingling, Yingling, Yingling right. and New yeah, Belgium. You know what? Yingling's a great example of a beer that everyone like. It was oh, 
I don't know if overhype's the right word. Everyone, everyone in Indiana. Oh my God, you gotta have, you gotta have, you gotta get some. It's You're going there. to PA. Will you bring me a case back? <laughs> yeah. And then they, they had this massive rollout. It was the not your father's root beer of the summer of oh, 2017. Yeah. Like oh, remember yeah. last year, that was like you couldn't find it on shelves before yeah. Fourth oh, of July. Yeah. They'd post things on the on the doors going into places saying we do not have any. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> but they had like tents set up at all the oh. bottle shops for Yangling, and yeah. I just I thought, okay. Fucking regular beer, man. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's nice. I don't have to go to Kentucky, and it's it's a no, it's a decent beer. You but know, you know what you're average. If I have to drink dem- domestic beer, I I prefer a Yingling. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mm-hmm. if I've got to choose between the Buds and the Millers, and that I'm I'm going with the Yingling. I think we all forget too because we're all huge beer nerds, and all of our friends are that m- most people aren't. Right. So for the most people who are like you know Miller Bud whatever you know Michelob Ultra. Mm-hmm. That still might be a huge deal. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen anybody order one of those in a bar. Uh, I've got a friend at work that she constantly drinks really? Michelob Ultra, uh, and I'm like, what, what are you? Why go up to a bar and say, can I get a Mick Ultra uh, or an MGD 64? And, and a side like of cranberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> and a fat lip. <laughs> what is that? Miller 55 is the other one that's even lighter than right, that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Let's, let's, let's get past the whole light. Yeah. The, I'm, that's if you're worried gone. about your health, you shouldn't be drinking fucking beer. So right. I don't know why I don't get the, you know, 55 Kelly bull. I mean, just stop. Drink your fucking beer. Stop. <laughs> or, or switch to whiskey or something. <laughs> As we sit here finishing off a bottle of bourbon barrel single malt <laughs> Japanese <laughs> emperor. Like, yeah, just get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> There's not one guy at this table that doesn't have a massive beer gut. We're like, yeah, you're the ones that are messing up fitness people. <laughs> you're wasting your money. <laughs> Invest in girth. You're going to die. All right. Do you guys want to stay dark on the beers? And, and, and we can maybe second half of the show, we can, or yeah. later on, we can go light. Sure. I don't know. I found this one. Wait. So. Oh, no. We have this? That that you want to save. That That's for savoring. Oh, it's a quad. Yeah. You want to? No, I mean, I mean that's the last bottle. Oh, yeah. the, the sanitarium? The sanitarium. Yeah. 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 Do you want to leave it out? We can crack it, we can crack it, it open there. now. Crack no, it open. no. We don't <laughs> have to crack it open. Do we need to chill okay. a little? You can chill a little bit. Yeah, just a little, slightly, maybe. But uh, yeah, whenever you want to. Should we that should we refresh our cups? Yes, let's uh, let's take a five and do uh, Nick Wingler and uh, Nico Nico open, open stage. What's the best way to make it through a long work week? Take a midweek break and join the fun every Wednesday night at Allie's Ale House and Fishes for Nico's Open Stage. Want to share your talent in front of a live audience? Whether it's breaking in some new material or jamming out to some favorites, Nico's Open Stage is the place to go for it. There's never a cover charge, and walk-ins are always welcome. Each week brings a featured artist and drink specials from Jack Daniels. Check out Nico's Open Stage on Facebook for more details. And come join the fun every Wednesday night at Allie's Ale House, home of the boys of Blind Pig Confessions. All right, join us at uh, Jockey Box Hero. It's uh, Indiana on tap in partnership with Hatch. Is excited to announce the inaugural Jockey Box Hero craft beer tasting and live band karaoke competition. This is the first of its kind uh, indoor outdoor event held on Saturday, August 12th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Hatch and Broad Ripple, 6161 North Hillside Avenue, Indianapolis. So I hear that the uh, Blind Pig Confession's very own cowboy is going to sing against, get this, William Hung. The guy from the first American Idol. That's correct. The guy from the first American Idol. So how can you miss that? You can't miss that. Get your tickets now. It's going to be Amazing. Absolutely. I uh, understand Cowboy has something special in store, and so we will see what that is. He's picked his song. We're not going to announce it here, but check out the Facebook page for Jockey Box Hero or go to Indiana on Tap. Get your tickets for the hatch August 12th. Hi, this is Kelly from 18th Street Brewery, and you are listening to Blind Pig Confessions. I don't know. What was the uh, All right, where Steve were we? Bannon? <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> what, what was that line? <laughs> uh, I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not trying to suck, suck my own cock. <laughs> 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 and we're back. 
<laughs> Perfect intro. I liked it. Keep yeah. it classy, White House. I, I wasn't. <laughs> would it, I don't think we ever went too much into the unfinished, the unfinished business, business, did we? I, it's, it's delicious. It's good. It's good. Really? Yeah. Um, eh. I did I drive I, up there to get it? No. No. I can say, yeah, I definitely wouldn't do the drive. And after the tax man didn't do his justice because yeah, the tax probably, yeah. so damn good. <laughs> oh, dude, there's, there's nothing worse than a tasting than having something amazing after you had something even better. And you're like, well, I mean, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, it that place has, right. it has a very Three Floyds feel where it's a, or it's in the middle of a business park and it's this otherwise nondescript warehouse. And you get up there and you're like, oh. But Perrin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't been there. It's owned by Oscar Blues now. Is it? Yep. Really? Yeah. Oh. Sell out. Pour it in the drain. <laughs> Dump it. We're all done. Know that. Throw that away. Don't take any pictures. <laughs> no, it was very good. But yeah. It, it was all right. I don't know. Maybe it was just too warm for me. I like it. I don't think that's like just, a little colder. Their no rules, I think, is better than that. Yeah. Oh, that no rules is amazing. I thought but that it, was really good. This must have come out after uh, Kill Bill 1 because yeah. she finished her business, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Slow clap this man. <laughs> well, that's all right. We got, we got sound effects we can put in there later. <laughs> Oh, Pig squeal, shit. donkeys. <laughs> Hi yo! Uh. Right, what are we trying next, boys? I don't know. What do you want to do? Uh, what's hey, that one? A... Uh, we can do, we can do that one. This is yeah. uh, I picked up about three Floyds last week. It's the Gorschfock. I'm probably not even pronouncing that right. Probably not. It's German. I'm getting really sick of the hard you need, to pronounce beers. You need to give it a little more. Um, it's getting harder ang- and harder anger to, to pronounce. It. You need to get a little more anger to it. fuck. There you go. Yes. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Most, most all German to me always just sounds like they're yelling at you. No, it's a. It's, uh, I looked it up because when I worked at Fiddler's, we, we got a keg of it. And I'd be like, oh, you want a gorge fuck? You know, and. Uh, Two restraining orders later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three slaps across the face. Yeah. But it's a. It's a full sail ship uh, that they use for naval military exercises but it's all like you know it's not official it's just a, it's just a show but it's a beautiful like tall ship it's not it's not a real it's not a real ship just a no it's a real ship that they use for exercises no it's a fake ship they keep it it's in the corner unofficial it's just, it's an unofficial ship they keep it in the corner and they yell at it <laughs> this is a, I can't even pronounce what's it's a Hellas lager. Hellas, yeah. All right, I got it. All right. German style, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna get into it later, but uh, we went to th- we bought a bottle of their their sour that they have is aged in wine barrels with blueberries, and it's amazing. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Fuck, dude, five words in a beer title, and you can only pronounce one of them. Like, good night. But did, did you have the von Munster? I did. That was good. Yeah, That's very a good. good. Beer. Yeah. Yeah, they had a smoked stout uh, that Ryan had when we were there at Three Floyds last weekend. That wasn't. I didn't like it. I didn't either, man. Like it was. Oh, really? All it smoke. Too, yeah, too, oh, yeah but it was, it, was, it was flat too. It was. It was real flat. I didn't like it. Yeah, you get some oils, and being a smoked beer, there. I mean, it depends on the mall. I, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. They're not easily. Uh, you can't necessarily have a good good amount of bubbles to it. Yeah. That's a cool fucking bottle, though. Well, yeah. He's going to keep... Are you, are you doing a bottle collection now? No. Okay, good. What the fuck's wrong with a bottle collection? Where are you going to put it all? All right, here's what are I you do. Start sticking right. it up on the wall? No, no, no. With, no. like, the, 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 uh, the, the command strips I, or I whatever? Have a, I have a small one, but it's only beers that, yeah. like... All right, well, it's, a, it's incredibly douchey. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go ahead. No, no I've, I've got some old Dark Lord bottles up there, but I've also got the uh, the four treehouse that I've had and then some black label cans from way back in the 70s when you had to pop your own top. And oh, nice. I, I look at it like if I can have a beer that's better than anything on this wall, then I'll take it down, toss it, and yeah. have another because I'm in college and an asshole, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Judging by everyone looking at me right now. Don't no, look at no, me. Just, look got, away. We know so guys who've got like, huge full? can collections, you know, that, that are just like. Well, have you ever rooms. been on? E- have you been on eBay or Craigslist and oh, see yeah. like people are paying good money for oh, the, yeah. for like the Dark Lord bottles, yep. even if they're empty. empty yeah. Six yeah. to ten bucks. Really? Jeez. Yeah, for yeah. an empty. I don't understand that. They pay shipping too. Yeah. Yep. I mean, they better. They damn well better because that would be you'd be breaking even. Oh yeah. On an empty bottle. I mean, you're you're making dep- some of your money back. Depends it doesn't on where matter. you're shipping it to. Well, that's true. Yeah. Oh, and well, how yeah, much yeah, gas yeah. did you consume oh. on the drive? <laughs> your time. <laughs> yeah, your time. But if you get if you get a four pack of Dark Lord to Dark Lord Day, and you get to drink it. You drink and it. You have fun. And you back. turn on sell the, the bottles back for thirty five bucks. 
pays for what twenty percent of your next year's ticket if yeah. you can get yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. We've got a beer wall at work that is also incredibly collegiate and douchey, but you know it's one of those like, all right, we got room for twenty, and every time we have one that's better than one of the twenty, we pop it off. And well, who decides that? Is it a collective uh, agreement? Yeah, but also like sometimes like if you get a Pliny the Elder, you're like, well, all right, right. We, can, we could probably lose you know one of the bare hands like. We'll, we'll <laughs> <laughs> but nice. it's also it goes back to that like untapped dick swinger thing like it's like you know you could probably if you're an anthropologist trace it back to the whole like hunter gatherer like here are my trophies taxidermy like i've got this boar has boar's head of this you know thing that i slayed same deal only much less work and you know well, most of those no times uh, most of those times uh, there were always some cartoons or what i i saw about it you know they get the stuffed bear and it's all like this and they're trying to make you think that's how you actually killed it when you actually just shot it while it was drinking from a stream or something, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got all these ferocious animals in your in your taxidermy room or whatever, and you, all yeah. you did was shoot them all in the back of the head. Yeah, <laughs> and it was licking a salt stone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's hunting right there. <laughs> Masturbating to the female urine that you dropped. <laughs> Wait, Gorsh- whoa! Where are we going? <laughs> Gorsh fuck is pretty fucking Gorsh, good. Is it, yeah, it's, it's clean. good. It's is really it? smooth. It's Just a, I like it. Clean, clean beer. I it's actually is. like it a lot. It's, it's fucking yeah. good. Yeah, that's really good. Fuck yeah. yeah. It's nice and smooth. No heavy taste in no. any one particular thing like that. That pepper stuff we had, I liked it. It was cool and all, but it was just heavy. So oh, it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. Yeah. But there's, there's definitely a depth of flavor in here, but it's clean and just really smooth. This is really good. How many bombers could you consume on your own? One. How many bombers? Unlimited yeah. amount. Unlimited of Gorch, ah, uh, probably a couple. Couple. I mean, this yeah. is a, it's uh, it's lower ABVs and it's yeah. I don't I don't want to say it's close to like a regular lager, but sessionable much more so than like the Mexican cake we had earlier. Oh, oh no, yeah. that's yeah, that's special. I can do three. I think yeah. I do three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's special occasion. Some of those or seven. <laughs> or seven. Well, let's try it. So. <laughs> but you take a stout that you got that is best at room temperature, like, and I know that. Different people prefer their beer served differently, but stuff like this and like the sour we'll have later. Like I like ice cold. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. ice cold. Like throw this thing in the cooler, have a have a barbecue, and drag it out. Yeah, I can yeah, drink a lot yeah, more of those definitely. as it gets colder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like even the the stouts. I don't. I I like the taste as they get a little warmer, but I don't like some of the like room temperature ones. Like if people drink theirs at room temperature. It's like no. I don't mind. I mean, I don't Devil's mind it, but conclave. I like a, a little bit of. Co- I mean, what Devil's Conclave? Which one's oh, that? good stuff? Was, uh, three Floyds, right? Three Floyds. Okay. Or is it 18th Street? 18th Street. Oh, yeah, 18th, 18th Street. Street. Yeah, yeah stuff is delicious. It's got the, it looks like three Floyds. Yeah. But yeah, Had that's... Cinnamon and... Uh, or what was that? Cinnamon and... Was it cinnamon? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, 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 it actually it tastes like that, that one we just... That Mexican one. Mexican a little bit. bit. Here, but it's a lot darker and heavier. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Real good. Yeah. Let's Real keep good. moving. So good flavor. How much good is profile. How much is too much for a bottle of beer? Which is too much Shit. for a bottle of beer. Well, I mean, that's that gets. It's, are, are we talking twelve ounce or a bomber? Or you know, for how much are you gonna pay for a good bomber? Well, uh, I mean, some of these are getting outrageous to me. Well, they, they are. Go ahead. Well, I say what? Like, I love bare hands and evil check. One thing I don't like about both of them, and I've talked to guys that work at both of them, like, you know, y- your price points kind of fucked up a little bit. Like, they're bombers. I think are are nice. They're fine. They're they're priced accordingly. But sometimes you're like, really seventeen dollars for a four pack mm-hmm. of static chipmunk. You're like or check monk. You're like, I mean it's fantastic. You you drink it, but fucking seventeen bucks. Well, yeah. but the double ties. Let's put it in, into perspective. Like you got to think about the production level, yeah. because buying buying the raw materials at a level say that, you know. Uh, Bell's does. Oh yeah, and oh, compare yeah. like like you pay. You know, it's it's you're buying bulk. Like not not a lot of those crap breweries can buy it. You know, say Sam's Club. You know, they have right. to buy a small amount, so they pay a higher amount, and so there's there's higher production costs that trickle down into like the packaging, and even the packaging. You know, just well, I know that. that I know that. I th- I know that Bare Hands does it, and I think Evil Check probably uses the. Ca- it's at Michigan Indiana Canning Place, the mobile canning. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. and, Ch- and and they take, I mean that's that's fucking expensive. It, yep. It's mm-hmm. not cost. Uh, it's well, it's cost prohibitive to have it ca- outsource your canning, but at the same time, so you know their choice. And I understand. And 
it doesn't prevent me from buying it. But when you look at like, you know, because I think three Floyd's bombers are also fucking outrageously priced, mm -hmm. like yeah. nineteen dollars yeah. for for one yeah, you know, behemoth. Yeah. They're cheaper at the brewery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I got to fucking drive all the way out to, to three Floyd's. <laughs> but you know, you get a good dinner out of it. But, but they're they're screwed in a. It's like a Sophie's Choice thing. You can either charge a lot for this, or you could spend one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars on your own canning line. Which is also out of reach for most mid-level regional brewers. Uh, it's not 125; it's like 16,000. Evil Check has their own canning line and depolitizer, yeah. but mm -hmm. but then you look down like the cans that Evil Check uses now; they get them wrapped at Mossberg, mm -hmm. and they're like they're like 35 cents per can. You know, that's to have them wrapped, and that that doesn't include like the cost that went in into like having the actual design made and so there's all these costs that that really add up to it oh so, maybe you know. maybe that's my problem because i like to me and I, I hold this up but it's one of my favorite beers because it's it's tasty i think it defines the uh the style pretty well but also it's incredibly cheap is the lagunitas hop stupid yeah a bomber of that is less than five bucks oh i know it's eight mm -hmm. plus percent 102 ibus it used to be like 250 for a bomber but I mean, it's for, crazy. But for for less than five bucks, I mean, to me, that's a value. So when you put that on the shelf next to uh, some, even some of the Stone Epic series, that you're talking like nine, ten bucks, mm -hmm. and then you get to some of like the Blot of the Sun by Three Floyds that is creeping towards twenty dollars. Like Dark Lord is about in the twenty twenty five dollar range. So I'm thinking, is this as good as something that's as hard to get as Dark Lord? So long story short, I'm a cheap ass, mm. thrifty. <laughs> well, sanitarium's what. Right, what sanitarium near? Uh, like twenty five, a bottle between twenty and twenty five. Yeah, yeah I'm something not like sure. that. But I, I think that about does it for me. I don't care. I, it's hard to no spend and more than that on a bottle of beer. And I'm not gonna. Well, and it's gonna be one of those. I don't, I only spend that on the those really rare ones. That, as mm -hmm. far as they do it once a year, or yeah. you know, tax man or some of that that they only release once a year. That's the only time I usually pay that much. All of but even has the to sours do. are getting yeah. stupid expensive yeah. for a bomber. Well, that a sour. That Chevalier we're gonna have later. Mm -hmm. Twenty five bucks. Twenty five at the brewery for one bomber. How often do they release it though? But even then, sours like you got to think. Oh, just, I know the reasons. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Look, big alcohol, just calm down. <laughs> Some of us are fed up with paying too much to get bent. All right. No, I didn't mean to cut him off on that. I understand the reason. I, I do, and because I think we've talked before on another show where. Even the even with that cost that you guys are doing, time. your um, <laughs> <laughs> your Jared, uh, your margin is still low. It's still relatively low. The margin based on like the four dollar, you know, or whatever ones you're talking, the four five dollars for five a four bucks. pack, whatever. <laughs> it's still the same margin, you know, profit margin that they're getting. Well, um, look at Taxman, right? Their beers, their beers affordable, mm -hmm. and and they make up for their loss of margins. Uh, based on distribution, and this is, I haven't talked to Nathan or Leah about this, but this is the only way that they can be successful with the distribution that they have and opening right. up that new right. brew pub mm -hmm. in Fortville. Cotters? Uh, Bargersville is Fort one, and then Fortville is the other one. Fortville. Yeah, those, those, those are cities? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. Nice. Ville, teeny Ville means city. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've been in Indiana for seven years. I'm still amazed at some of these towns. I'm like, wait, what? That's yeah. a city in Indiana? All right. But Indiana has more cities named after other countries than any other state in the Union. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, isn't that great? Creative. <laughs> uh, you, I, I mean, you, one can only suppose that they're making up for their margins um, at the brew pub. Right. You know, and you... you then you go to a place like, you know, I was at Three Floyds a couple of weeks ago, and you're buying a pint of beer for like five bucks. Yeah, and the the meals are they're they're reasonably priced for like the Chicagoland area. I mean, you get that mac and cheese, or the what was that smoked or that salted pork belly pork sandwich. Oh, <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! That that's hey, that's what we had last weekend. It was fantastic. Yeah, it's like their food there has always been like I know I, you know. I, not like a before anybody else, but man, even going back like six, seven years ago, I their know. their food was absolutely incredible, and it, it's fun. That's one of the most fun things about going to a good brewery is very seldom do you go to a place that has amazing beer and they have shit food. It's mm -hmm. always I mean, look at the Crooked U at the end of the street. Yeah, they have great beer. Their food is fucking incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and they go out of the they go out of the way to yeah. make it to make it an experience. Like you could go there and not even drink and have an amazing meal just and leave. Yeah. 
You'd be bored. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Meow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I mean, I worked for Sean for multiple years. I mean, I love that place. It's awesome. Nice view of the river. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> what's next? <laughs> oh shit! I don't I don't know, know. What is next? What is this? Who brought the? Where are you uh, opening? Where was that? What's short that? short oh, bottle? I got a short Belgian. Oh yeah. What is that one? Uh, Castile Belgian Ale Barista Chocolate Quad. Ooh. Uh, Rick, are you still hanging in there? Oh, yep, I'm. I'm awake. I think. Brewed and bottled in Inglemunster, Belgium. Inglewood. Man. Oh, Inglewood. Inglewood. Good. Quantity over quality. I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm like. <laughs> 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 no, I I wanted to leave Friday at eleven o'clock, and I found out at ten thirty. It was like we need a new promo for this Harley giveaway. I'm like, fuck, I got you, man. We ran to the booth, cut the cut the voice for it, and choo, 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 done in fifteen minutes. Shit. So you're out by ten forty five. Yeah, I worked. Uh, I almost worked almost fucking six hours on Friday. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. That's a long day for you. Fuck. Terrible. I'm tired just hearing about it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there are some days, like, if, we, if we're out, like, late Wednesday, we decide, like, hey, we'll have a drinking day. Like, I'll go in at 5.45 on Thursday and leave at 10.45. Rick did more work this morning here than you probably do all week. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. He fixed the, well, he fixed the, the way, table yeah. we're on. I fixed the couch that Are your you fed ass broke. So just Are you done with this? Wow. <laughs> just, to say, Rick, just to say what. You can kick my ass later, but yes, I did. Wow. You're done with this? And that was the uh, that was the first podcast. That was the first hearing. podcast. Was it? Yeah. I don't Warren remember. Warren passed down the couch and everybody piled on him. Oh, yeah. And that's what when broke did that ha- When did that huh? happen? Uh, oh, a couple years ago. Oh, okay. That's an old podcast. Was that an FBE one? No, I was, no. Yeah, before I was married, we were living in Irvington still. Yeah. yeah. I think you were too. 150 yeah. years ago. Irvington, like Indiana, downtown? No. No. Streets. Oh, we have an Irvington here. One street too. over. Okay. Two hey, streets over. Hey, you know what you're asking for? Our house is up, our old house is up for sale. You know what you're asking for it? 60 grand. Damn. That's it? That's an 835 square foot house on an alley, two alleys with a garage. Holy it's shit. like an eighth of an acre. Wow. 60 grand, man. I, w- I would have maybe given thirty five, maybe for the I house. Think, I think our old house sold for like sixty three. We the, bought it for fifty five, and I think it sold for sixty three. The neighbors on either side of us were also asking like in excess of sixty thousand dollars for a teeny tiny. Did that house Little across house. the street ever sell? Murder One house. Week? Yeah, remember murder jumping house? in the bushes? Wait, wait, murder house. Uh, the house across the street from us over there. It was vacant for a couple of years before we got there, and it was vacant for a couple of years after we left. Uh, a guy killed himself in it. That's not murder. <laughs> well, they didn't know if his ex his ex wife killed him or ah. he killed himself. But nobody wants to live in a house with a dead body. So yeah, just, no, no, suicide, no. you know, suicide is when you murder yourself. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Still yeah. murder. Well, it's usually, still they murder. take the body out when they sell the house. Hopefully, they'll just leave it there. Yeah, and <laughs> oh man, I'm sure man. someone died in this house too. Ever, well, yeah. <laughs> Little bits of Ryan's soul. <laughs> His anal virginity died in this house. Whoa. It's buried out back. Wow. Half pack of Winston's. <laughs> <laughs> and a case of Mickey's. <laughs> Here lies his butt cherry. <laughs> okay. Wow, so, we're all dicks. Yeah. Oh, this this is, is how we treat our friends. Great aroma. This is that's lovely. Nice. Yeah, that's aroma. Is really I, think nice. I wasn't real sure about it because it looked like it was a little too uh, commercial. You know, it just looked like it was a, a kind of a joke beer because they're little short, stubby bottles. And no, oh, it's very Belgian. Yeah, uh, no, it's very Belgian. From one of those corporate. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. Castile. That's got good flavor. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 light, but it's still chocolatey. Yeah, chocolate um, and coffee. It's not too sweet, not sickly sweet or anything. It's good. What was the ABV on that? 11 percent. Oh, are you shitting me? Oh, no, that does not said. taste like an eleven at all. It's a quad. It's a Belgian quad. Oh, I know, but my palate's. I've gotten really good at guessing. You know, usually within a half a, you know, percent on the ABV on the. How ABV. many quads do you drink? Hmm. Well, that's true. I haven't quads are typically quads, like yeah. But usually, upper as you nines, get lower but usually 13. as you get nine to ten, you get that sickly sweet kind of you know thing. Not to if them. it's done well. Oh, mm-hmm. I know. That's that's this is done well. Yeah, it's actually yeah it fooled me. Can I can I see that bottle? 
Which one, the Gorch? No, the one that still has some beer in it. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough in my glass. Yes. You're a stingy. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sorry. I do have another bottle left. You're, mm. You're good. The stingy this pours. Is, hey. no. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ryan and Jeremy and I were talking about forming a band, a three-piece. Yeah, that's right. It's called the Stingy Pours. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to play guitar and sing. Jeremy was going to play saxophone, and Ryan's going to play drums. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Never happened. No, not even close. No, left, I sold my. You guys I left sold the my country. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. sold my. I sold all my guitars, and my amps, and everything. Yeah. No. Oh. I had a fucking fully restored 1998 dime bag Daryl goddamn Washburn. I'm like, Craigslist, get out of here. Hey. Oh, mm. damn. No, nah, you know when you suck at something and you're just like, uh, I sold it to buy an engagement ring. Now that I think about yeah. it, yeah, that's what. Plane I ticket. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm like, yeah. eh. I thought. Selmer I'm not. Series Three Super Action Eighty. I bought it off eBay, and somebody had stripped it down, like torn off all the electronics, and I paid some some guy and uh, who used to work for Gibson to restore it. It was fucking beautiful. It played amazing, but I'm just like, I am fucking terrible at this. <laughs> I like to get drunk and play 15 seconds of all my favorite songs, and fuck it. <laughs> this is nice beer. Yeah, I, love a I love coffee hero. beers. Yeah, they haven't had a miss yet. I've liked that. everything we've yeah. had so far. Well, is this a coffee? This isn't a coffee, is it? it? Yeah, it is. Oh, or a chocolate. It's a chocolate. chocolate but there's yeah. definitely some coffee notes. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, roasty. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, Belgian ale yeah, brewed and bottled by brewer Van Hanselbroek, and then a whole bunch of other letter words I can't spell, or or I can spell but I can't read. Ing- Ingelmunster, Belgium. I love it. You know, it's it's a different like quads Belgian beers. Quads and doubles, you know, because of that, you have that yeast quality, mm-hmm. and the yeast is very bright and lively and fruity and spicy, and then you add all this malt character to it. Oh man, it's just a great marriage. It's like I'm starting to I'm starting to realize I like a lot of the Belgian stuff oh, a little man, better. So yeah, good. you get that. Uh, it's that complexity of the flavors, and you think if it's it's going to start being heavy, but then it, it's crisp though. Right. Yeah. It's it is. Yeah. Very crisp. Like, yeah. It, yeah. You get that. Yeah. And it's also not uh, since I'm not a big hop head. It's not. It's no, not hoppy, but not. it's got the it's got the complexity, like you said, and that the boldness and, and a lot of the flavors mm-hmm. without having to just throw all the hops at it to give it that you know unique characteristic. Right. Yeah. No, that's that's pretty awesome. I really great. was surprised. Like I said, I. Yeah. I was not expecting anything. I just I grabbed a four pack of it. It looked like a hey, kitch, like a kitsch beer. Yeah, that's remarkable, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get this at Crown as well? Mm-hmm. Sure. So you see, uh, Sun King is now expanding, going what? out of uh, Indiana, yeah. Yeah. Chicago, and, and yeah. Louisville, I believe. I think. Yeah. I talked to one of the reps, uh, Nicole Hallworth, uh, the other week, and she's yeah. I think uh, I think it's just chi- that it's not statewide, just Chicago and yeah. Louisville. Yeah, hitting the cities. Specific distributors. Right. I mean, those guys, when, when do they come into existence? Uh, what, 06? Has it been, it's 06? Has okay. it been that long? I have it on very Maybe. good authority. Their cream ale is available at Aldi's. Yeah? I see, you were I'm just not there. a fan of that cream it's ale. A, I know it's a big one, but it's I their big Trader Joe's you know, now, ain't it? They built that brewery on three brands. Yeah. They did. And cream ale is their top Bad. seller. Yeah. Oh. We had a really good cream. Uh, we had a cream ale at uh, one of our other shows. I can't remember what it was. Best cream ale I've had in a while. I'm not a big Sun King fan. I, you know, I said it. I've said it. You know, I don't, I'm not knocking them. Their stuff is good. They're, you know, it's obviously it's got to be good. Them, but but it's just not been like. my thing. But that that whip fight though they do with the uh, oh Scottish that one oh, yeah man, that's good shit. actually a lot yeah that one is a good one. Oh, but, it's yeah. amazing. That one's really. But good. you know, g- in general, I don't order that when I go out. But that is also because I'm still exploring and. You know, and trying everything that, that I haven't had before at the bars, which is starting to it's starting to taper off. <laughs> I'm, run, I'm running out of shit to try, man. Hey, this is this is really great. It it is. Is. I got another one. You get all that uh, all that stouty chocolate flavor without any Being of the stout. stout like thick. It's like. almost like yeah. a chocolate yeah. covered raisin. Yeah. 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 It's really good. That's that's surprising to me. I've never even heard of these guys. Me neither. <laughs> that chocolate kind of comes and goes. Yeah, you get it in the front, and it kind of goes away. Then you get it again. But yeah, again, it's really it, it's, nice. it gives you the chocolate without having to resort to, like you said, the heaviness or the um, oatmeal or adding all the lactate or anything like that. A lot of the chocolate ones you usually get are all it's a mi- chocolate milk stout or mm. like chocolate yeah. I mean, it's like they try to really creamy, drive home the fact there's chocolate in, it, so yeah. it feels very like you know milk chocolatey. Yeah, just <laughs> but I want to milk chocolate. Barista? I drink chocolate milk. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't go anywhere. Uh, doesn't mm. have any other detail on it. I have to go look that one up. No, on it looks like uh, there's a little thumbnail toward the bottom of the label. It says it's imported uh, into some place in Massachusetts. Hmm. 
Uh, Middleton, Mass., yeah. Like global beer. Park the car in the Harvard Yard. <laughs> Castle Brewery. Castle Brewery? Von, Von Holmesbrewery. Yeah, I'll pop this open if you don't mind. Go for it, man. Yeah. I think I still got one more. I bought a four-pack. I think we only opened three. Sweet. <laughs> has many forms by which he catches man. He is a beast of many horns and ever thus has been. For there's rum and gin and beer and wine and, and brandy, brandy of lord with you. And hawk and pot and flip combined to make a man look blue. He says be merry for his good sherry and Tom and Jerry. Champagne in Paris and, and spirits of every hue. Oh, one of these a fiendish crew as ever a mortal knew. Oh, one of these a fiendish crew. As ever a mortal knew, keying alcohol is very sly, a liar from the first. He'll make you drink until you're dry, then drink because you thirst. For there's rum, and gin, and beer, and wine, and brandy of log with you, and hot, and pot, and flip combined to make a man look blue. He says be merry, for his good sherry, and Tom and Jerry, champagne and perry, and spirits of every hue. Oh, one of these a fiendish crew, as ever a mortal knew. Oh, one of these a fiendish crew. As ever a mortal knew, King Alcohol has had his day, his kingdom's crumbling fast. His votaries are heard to say, our tumbling days are past. For there's no rum, no gin, nor beer, no wine, no brandy of any hue. No hawk, no pot, no flip, combined to make a man get blue. And now they're merry without the sherry or Tom and Jerry, champagne and Perry, or spirits of every hue. And now they are a temperate crew, as ever a mortal knew. And now they are a temperate crew, and have given the devil his due.